Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video by Reviews on Anything. My name is Peter and today we're having a look at a water bottle, or rather a water bottle solution maybe. This is the Mimo bottle, coming from the same named company. And it is a square bottle that comes in a bunch of different sizes, as you can see here. I got the A6 and the A7 bottles in clear plastic and they also come in a matte black and a matte white variety, but those are made of metal. Therefore quite heavy and I went for this uh, clear plastic option. They look like glass, but they are just plastic. This is the packaging. As you can see, it comes very nicely presented, very simple, no, no, nothing else crazy going on with a bit of description on the inside and also the sizes. The big one, the A6 is 375 milliliters, where the A7 is 180 milliliters. And the naming comes from the paper. I have a standard A4 piece of printing paper here. And as you can see, I fold it up and it becomes an A5. They also have an A5 bottle. I fold it once more and you have A6 size, which is exactly the size of the A6 bottle. Makes sense. Fold it once more and you have an A7 sized bottle. So if you're in the market for this kind of bottle, you can fold a piece of paper and see the exact size for you and if and where it fits. And the fitting is actually the most important reason I got this bottle. Because, you know, these bottles, as stylish as they are, obviously serve a function. As a square or rectangle shaped bottle, they fit in bags much better than round bottles. They save quite a bit of space and you can fit them into a lot of tighter spaces because of the shape. Now design-wise, uh, not much going on. It's just um, a little bit of printing the type number and the uh, name of the company and the bottle on the sides and that is really all you get. So back to the shape, the only thing sticking out is of course the bottle cap, which is not quite metal, but also not quite plastic, somewhere in between. Uh, metallic feeling plastic, if that's a thing. Uh, nice, a bit heavy, has a good feel to it, and it has a nice uh, big opening, as you can see, to add your liquids to. Uh, you don't really need a funnel to do so. This is easy for under the tap, and even pouring something in there is no issue whatsoever. You can see that the small one still has a little bit of water in it, and when I hold it in my hand, it's really only the bottle cap that is sticking out. Now, obviously I need to give you a bit of a size comparison. So here is a normal 500 milliliter round bottle. And here is a normal uh, 0.33 liter, so that's 330 milliliter bottle. Uh, so you can clearly see the size difference. The blue one is about the same content as the, the A6 one. And the reason I got these, like I said earlier, is to fit them into a bag. Now this is my sort of everyday carry bag from Peak Design, it's a 3 liter sling and when I put the bigger bottles in you can see that they don't fit. Now of course I can lay them flat but that becomes a bit of a stacking exercise and things go on top or it needs to go on top of something else and it doesn't work for me. But with this small A7 bottle it can just stand up straight and it fits in no problem. And it's only 180 milliliters, yes, I get that, that's not the biggest amount of water that you can carry, uh, but it is in reality for me all I really need on a daily basis. Because when I go somewhere in the car, I have plenty of water. When I go somewhere for a longer trip, I bring a backpack with more space. And this sort of everyday carry sling is when I do short trips to the grocery store or you know, picking things up. So I don't need a lot of water with me at that point anyway. Now, these bottles, cool as they may be, there's no denying that they look a little bit like a flask. I have a standing flask right here, and you can see that the resemblance is, of course, uh, very clear. Now, the standing one is made of metal, so much heavier, of course, than the plastic one. Uh, but capacity-wise and size-wise, you can see that they are pretty much the same. Now, I'll put them on a the scale here so you get an idea of the weight next to the size. We'll start with the big one, empty, of course, a few drops left in it, but 109 grams so that is certainly not going to break your back even in a small sling like the one I use. The small one uh, weighs almost half, uh, 65 grams including the bottle cap which is actually a surprising amount of the weight because you can see that the cap by itself already weighs 22 grams so that's a third of the weight just in the cap. And then of course there's uh, 44 grams left just for the bottle. So, you know, obviously this is just an empty bottle, so you got to add the fluids into it, but, you know, nice lightweight next to the small size. And, of course, compared to the actual flask, you can obviously, you know, with this being metal, it's so much heavier, makes a lot of sense. Uh, although that the standing one is a bit more stylish. 
Overall, I'm very happy with these bottles. They do exactly what I bought them for, allowing me to carry water even when I have small carrying capacity. And there's no fanfare going on, no Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. They do exactly what they need to do and nothing more, which is exactly the kind of product that I like. That's all I got for you in this video. I can highly recommend these bottles. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.